Today we're going to have a look how you can write your debug logs to a file. This is useful if you've given your build to somebody else and you want to be able to quickly get all of your debug logs and put them into a file so you can see what's happening. It is actually pretty easy to do, so I'll just show you how to do it. First of all, let's make a folder for our scripts. I'm just going to make a script that will read the debug logs and put them into a file. Let's double click to open it. To write to the file, we're going to need system.io. I'm going to create a variable which will store the path of where we're going to store the file. We're going to need a couple more of these Unity functions. We're going to need on enable and on disable. Now we're going to subscribe to the event, which is called every time a log debug log is run. When you subscribe to an event, you also need to unsubscribe when you disable. Now we need to make this log function, which will run every time this event runs. I'm also going to remove the update because we don't need it. Now in here, a log message comes with a few things. So I'm going to put each of the variables which are required. It comes with a log message received. I'm not going to go into detail of what all of these things do because we're only going to need to use the string, log string at the beginning, because that will give you the string from the debug log. But in here, I'm going to use the text writer to write to a file. And the first thing I'm going to do is create a new stream writer to create the file if it doesn't exist or append to it if it does exist. As you can see here, if you don't give it a second variable, it will just overwrite the file. And so this second part here will allow you to make it so that you can append to that file. Now I'm just going to write a line and I'm going to add the log string to this. Finally, I'm just going to close it. One thing that we also need is we need to give the file name a path that we will be able to use to where the file is going to go. I'm just going to do that in the start function. One more thing that I'm going to do is I think in a log file it would be really good to have your date stamped before each entry so that you can see how far each of those debug logs have gone between them. But let's add that. And now that's all you need to do to write any debugs to a log file. Let's go back to Unity and write another script to test this. Double click on your script. We aren't going to need the start function. First of all, I'm just going to make an array of strings which we can choose from to make a random debug statement. Next, I'm going to write a function called random debug, which will pick a random string and make a debug. Finally, in the update function, I'm going to use input.key down to find if the spacebar is pressed. And if the spacebar is pressed, I'll just call this function. To 
Let's save that and go back to Unity. Let's make an empty game object to put these on. We'll need to add a few statements in here to be able to have something to choose from. Of course you wouldn't do it this way, you would just have your debug statement anywhere. It doesn't matter which script the debug statement is in, it'll get picked up. So let's give this a try. you can see I'm pressing space a few times I'm getting different debug statements I'm just going to re-import this you can see the log file has appeared and here is the contents of it you can see that it's time stamped and it has each of the debug logs. So it's pretty simple to do that. Hope you find this useful. It's a really great way to debug when you can't actually physically be in the room with the person who's running the application. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please feel free to like, subscribe or comment. I always try to help everybody who comments. And it also lets me know if the channel's doing well or not. Hope you enjoy your game development.